Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Happy Bling Bling Sunday. Today we are doing a true Bling Bling and it is going to be in two parts. I'm sorry, normally I don't do two parts, but I am been asked to do a commission piece. He has sent me a picture of kind of what he wants. Um, it's my hairdresser, so I can't say no. So anyways, so I have this picture to go by. I'm going to show it to you when I do the next clip. And it is going to be fun. I've had it done. It probably should be done in resin, but I did it in painting. And um, I decided I'm going to put a coat of resin on top. So there will be a part two to this video with the resin being put on. So with that, I had to show you. I made another sweater at work. It is long. My daughter claimed it, so I thought I'd show you before I ship it off to her. <laughs> so with that, my beautiful people, go grab a cup of coffee, get a tea, go get something to munch on, or even adult drink, because I know it is past morning time. So with that, I'm gonna get my working clothes on and we're gonna get right into this beauty. It turned out amazing, I'm impressed. So anyways, I'll see you in a minute guys. Hello everybody, I got my working clothes on and we're getting into this today. I'm excited and nervous all at the same time. So um, my hairdresser sent me a picture. I apologize, I don't know where he got it, but this is what he's asking me if I can make. So I'm going to attempt. I pulled out all my stuff and we're gonna see what I can do. So it's that beautiful cobalty blue kind of. So I got these blues. I'm gonna use my um, Artist Loft Metallic White. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna use it or not, but I pulled out my Pebio Studio Iridescent um, Gold. And in my thoughts are, I'm gonna gold leaf in. See, to me, there's gold leaf in here, and there's glitter, and there's glass. So I'm gonna attempt to do something of this sort. So, with further ado, I'll go through quickly what I have here. I'm using Triart Liquid Glass. I got a new bottle, I'm excited. So that's going to be what I'm using to adhere the glass, the glitter onto. I've got Ashland Decorative Filler. This is the gold. I have picked out some of Laura's glitters. This is the Olympic gold medal. This is the gold dust. And then this one I have is sunny gold. So we're going to possibly use those. And if all else fails, I have this one. It's Hemingway. A beautiful subscriber sent that to me. Um, I have my sizing medium. I have all of this gold leaf. Dollar store. And this one I bought off of Amazon. And the paints. So, woohoo! Sorry, Bob. I knocked poor Bob over. Poor little guy. He's going to learn how to do a bling bling today. And Laura sent me these and I have not used them because I didn't know what to do with them. So if this turns out, I may use them in the piece that I do for my actual commission. That is gorgeous. So I will do a video of it. I video everything. So, oh my goodness. I think that'll be pretty in this, this. Oh my goodness. Talk about time consuming. Here we go. So this is going to be a, a little bit of a video. It ain't going to be a... I'm hoping it's not going to be a, a two-hour video. But anyways, as I always say, if you don't want to see all the process, you can fast forward. The canvas is a 18 by 24 inch. Just something to play around with because he wants it huge to go on the back of his um, couch wall. 
And all right, so my canvas is push pinned and taped. And I'm hoping it's hard to see in my, I was gonna say my rear view mirror, my uh, monitor. There you go. All right, you're in. So paint, paint, paint. I'm gonna put the paint on here. We're not just gonna slap it on. And I have a full tube of this. So I'm gonna, mm, I don't, they look kind of similar and I don't wanna run out cause I don't have a full tube of that. So we're gonna put nice dark right here. A substantial amount. We're gonna put, oh, I lost my little bag. I had a bag here. I'm going to put some of the Artist Loft Metallic White here. And then I'm gonna wait. I'm not gonna put the, I don't wanna waste it. So I don't wanna put the gold out. I'm just gonna get rid of these right now because I'm not gonna use these unless I decide to, because you know how that happens. I'm using my Royal and Lang Nickel Jumbo R795 Michaels. Use your coupon, it's my best purchase I've made there in a while. And I'm just gonna dampen my brush just so it'll take the paint better. And just do a little quick. And we got a hair in there already. Look at that. Now these are primed, so you don't need to put anything on them. And I apologize, my coffee mug, huge, is full. Because we need caffeine. So, maybe what I'll do is to kind of do a rough sketch. Um, let me find something that I can write with. Trusty old Sharpie. Just to give an idea of, I want gold on the ends. Actually, you know what? We're not going to do that. We're just going to, we're just going to go with it. So I'm going to, it doesn't quite come across. So we're going to do all of the top blue. I'm just got my blue paint here. And that, with a couple coats, I think will be right. I'm just gonna go right across the top. Crisscross, get that paint into the canvas. What I'm thinking I'm gonna do is just do the paint and then come back and I'm gonna cover some of it up with obviously the gold leaf and the um, the glass and the glitter to make those kind of neat lines. bits down here and then we'll kind of blend that in I'm gonna get my edging while I have this on my brush tap it in give it a 
good old coat. Let me just bring this out. And I might come in with a little, we're going to see how it dries. You're seeing this? Good girl. Good, good, good. side as well. Sorry, you are way out of frame. My apologies. There we go. Okay. Oh, Sherry. Perfect. And then we're going to come in and do perfect though. Now I'm going to wet this brush and I'm going to come in with a different brush. Just something that I can, this is just, this is a dollar store brush. It's just a 12 inch round. And I'm just going to try and do a little bit of a better job with this one. Get a nice coat of the paint. And to get that nice darker color, I think I'm probably going to have to do possibly three coats. I'm not worried about this not blending in because I'm doing a gold leaf around them all, right? So it's going to be gold leaf up and gold leaf up. So don't care about the edging. I just want to make sure that there's a good, maybe something here, just something that we can gold leaf around and have a little bit of that blue down in here. Okay, I'm gonna let this dry and we'll come back with a second coat. I'll see you guys in a little bit. Okay, it is dry. I took my blow dryer and it's dry to the touch. So I am going to add a second coat on here. In between these kind of coats, if you do not wanna wash out your brush, throw it in a baggie and that way it stays nice and moist. I don't know what I did. I threw my water for some reason. Forgot what I was doing. And again, I want to crisscross just like I did on the first coat so you can get a nice, amazing coat. I'm slip sliding away. And I'm the worst. I am that type of person. I don't know what it is, whether when I was making jewelry, when I'm crocheting, when I'm just about anything. I'm the type that I can look at something and I can more or less do it. And I don't know what it is. Got that knack for some reason. All right, here we go. Oh, that's such a pretty color. Once you get a good coat on there. I'm gonna do one more because I want it to be nice and deep. So what I'm gonna do 
is I'm going to find a baggie, which I can't find at the moment, so I'm sticking this big brush in a glove. Meow. There we go. You can use cellophane. You can do anything you want. And I'm going to do a second coat on ooh, my white on this guy. I love all those Pebios. Oh. I actually have every color they have. My mother-in-law a couple years ago bought me this kit. It was like an 80, I think it was 80 pieces. I did a video, I showed everybody in, in one of my videos. But oh my goodness. And they're just a little, I don't know if they're 20 ounce tubes, just a little wee. But it's kind of nice, you can find the colors that you like and buy the big ones. I just want to make sure that that center part is covered. I don't care about the edging because we're going to cover that all up. And come back light strokes because you want to make sure the paint kind of stays. And this is the one I was noticing. There you go. I want a substantial little bit in there. Perfect. All right, I'm going to throw this in. Whoops-a-doozer. Glad we're doing another coat. I'm going to put this in the baggie with the other one, even though it's a glove. And I'm going to blow dry this again, guys, and I'll see you in a minute. We are back with a for a third coat of the blue. This is dry. And all I'm doing is taking my blow dryer on the highest setting and putting heat to it. So. And one more coat. I'm hoping this will be enough. Try and get what I can kind of worked in and then come back and forth and do the smoothing out. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll get the little one going here. Oops, my white keeps slip sliding off my plate because I got it tilting it. And I'm looking at this. To me, this almost looks like it's resin in the painting that he sent me a picture of. But I wanted to try it without resin and then we can see if it works because I'm not all my people like to use resin so that is what was in my brain and you know what I've gone over the edge, so I'm just going to put blue on this side here. And then the other ones we will do the white around the edge. Perfect. Okay, I'm thinking I'm going to put them back in here just because. 
and I'm gonna see I'm gonna blow dry it again and see where I am with the the color okay I'll be right back guys I am back I have my artist loft acrylic flow not acrylic flow I have my artist loft metallic white and we're just gonna fill in the rest here and this one is quite thick compared to the the peblio so I'm just crisscrossing it get that first coat down it is quite thick I can't believe how thick the paint is <laughs> And again, I, like I said, I'm going to probably come back and do some gold in here to fill in the blanks. But I want a good couple of coats of this white in here. If I come over where it is kind of faded on the edges, I'm not worried. Like I said, I'm gonna come in. And I'm probably doing this more difficult than it probably needs to be. But I'm not too worried. Like I said, I see something, I can make it. I might not make it the same way that someone else does it, but I get to the process at the end. Just want to get a good first coat. And then I'm going to come back with probably... Probably gonna do two of these, maybe three. I'll put it this way, I'll use up the paint I put out. And I could have amalgamated all this in there, but I didn't want, I wanted it to be stark white, not any of this blended so you get like a baby blue stuck in there. I didn't want that. So that's the reason why I did that. And see guys, if you fast forward, you wouldn't know that, would you? All right. Just even it all out and get my edging. And actually, as I'm looking at my edging, I am probably gonna come back and do gold a whole on the whole edge because on what he had sent me what he wanted to me that's how it looks because it's glass and glitter all around the whole circumference of the canvas so I don't know even know why I'm painting it white and black but white and blue but there'll be a base coat down there for the gold <clears throat> excuse me One little piece left here and done did them. All right, I'm gonna set this in another baggie. I'm gonna blow dry this and I'll be back when it's dry. Okay, I started painting before I put the camera on. So I, it's dried, took my blow dryer, dried it all up. And now we're gonna do, I think one more coat is good. All right. Such a difference in paints, eh? This guy is so thick compared to what the um, the Peblio is. So, I'm 
next time I think I would do the white down first. Just being that it's so thick. There we go, the top of the bristles. Now, if I show him this and he doesn't like it, I'm thinking um, maybe we can do it with resin because I'm pretty sure that's what was used in that painting. But I thought I'd try this first. Just trying to get my lines gone is what my issue is right now. Yeah, uh, there we go. Perfect. I'm not going to touch nothing else. Okay, it's so thick. All right, I'm going to wash my brush out because I'm done with that. I'm going to let that dry and clean up my mess. And then we're going to come back and <sighs> do I waste my time doing the paint or do I just gold leaf and then come back on top? I think I'm just going to gold leaf and then that way I, I can come back because the paint, I don't know. We'll see. All right, guys, I'll be back in just a minute. Okay, this is all dry. I am happy how that turned out. Now I have, I don't know, I've seen people use glue guns and all that jazz. I've seen them use glue, but I've tried to use it with glue and I found that either it, because of, I was doing a lot of it and it dried and it wouldn't stick. So this is why I'm using this adhesive. So I don't know, maybe there's another way out there guys. Maybe you can let me know. But I'm just going to pour a little bit of this adhesive. It's the same thing I used when I was doing the gold leaf on that painting that didn't quite turn out. So it is adhesive size and it is from Speedball Metal Leaf. It's got a little bit of a Mona Lisa on there. I don't know if it was being discontinued, but I, I bought it from Michael's and it was on sale. So I'm putting it in this little cup just because... I don't want to pour it on my tray and have it all dry out on me. I turned my heater off so that it's not going to dry quick on me. Sorry, I needed a sip of my coffee. So I'm going to start with doing all of the edges and then work my way in. So this is going to be boring. You may will not offend me. I'm just doing the whole edging. And getting the... It's the only thing that's hard to see what you've done. I'm just going along the edge. And a little bit on the top. And then we will do that leafing and then we'll come back. If you've watched my channel, you know that I like to do things that aren't just wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. I love doing things that are multi-process, like not just the same thing that everyone does. Try and do this quickly. 
it's kind of hard to tell whether it's on there because it's white <laughs> and on the edge. Perfect. Now we're going to do side number two. It'll be easier when it's on the blue. I can see where I put it. <laughs> oh yes, there we go. Quick and easy. So yes, if you guys have done the gold leafing before or any leafing, let me know what you what you do. Now I just watched someone else do a gold leaf guitar. So I don't know. And she just used a glue gun. So maybe Sherry's just special and had an issue. I don't know. There we go. Just want to make sure the white part has. Perfect. And make sure you get the edging. I don't know, this might not be what this person did, but it's what I'm doing. to the edge again like I said I'm gonna I'm gonna probably zigzag it up but I'm just gonna get this basic right now the edging done there we go I know it looks horrible right now, the paint on the front, but again, like I said, we're going to cover that up. You just want that beautiful blue base coat. And again, I just used a dollar store paintbrush because if I ruin it, then I can just go pick up another one of these sets. I bought these sets because my daughter and I were doing um, paint nights at home and I thought they would be cool because they're this, these are the ones that you use to make flowers and stuff. So we're going to probably maybe do some flowers and stuff. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to put this down. Perfect. I know it's upside down, but we're going to give it a little bit of a blow dry. Let it to be it's going to be tacky right because that's the ed oh my goodness it's going to get a hair there's a hair in there but that's fine it's going to get covered i'm just going to get something to wipe my hands off because now we're going to get into just putting gold leaf all around the edge I'm excited and scared all at the same time. Let me just get rid of my things that are in my way. I'm gonna move my stuff I'm gonna use out of the way. Again, I have this eight foot table and I always seem to have no room. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in this container. I'm gonna put my brush in there so I don't ruin it. Just get out what because I find that adhesive dries really fast. Perfect. All right. Done to them. Alrighty. So I have the dollar store, which I think is more or less done. 
I only have a few of them. I don't want to make it if, if it's different looking. Yeah, I'm going to stick with all of the other one I have. So this one I bought from Amazon. It came with a pack like this. There's a lot in there. It came with gold, it came with silver, and it came with a copper. So let me get my stuff out of the way. And we're going to work from one side all the way down. So we're going to take off these papers. Ooh. Oh, it'd be nice if you could cut them. I'm just going to pick it up. And we're just going to lay it down gently. Tap it. And peel it off. Go to the next one. Eh, I'm trying to get what I can out of one sheet. as opposed to wasting, not that you're going to waste it, but And I'm, like I said, I'm just piecing it together. Like it's hard to show you this. I'm just kind of piecing it together and tapping as I go. And breaking it off and putting it here. It's kind of hard to show you how to do this at the moment because I can't see what I'm... Just rub it. Get all that. Perfect. So I'm going to proceed. I'm going to move it so I can see it. Sorry, guys. And let me get this big piece that's here. We can move it down here. And on the top where it's... Awesome. That's going to be so pretty. Okay. And you can take a nice brush that's soft. Oh. I'm going to use this brush and just kind of. Brush away what's extra. There we go. And another sheet. That's not bad. One sheet for more or less that side. I'm going to be mindful that I don't put it too far overhanging on the bottom. And then that way I'm not wasting those little bits there. Awesome. Let's, ah, let's 
not what I wanted to do, but it's there. And you're in. That's good. Kind of piecing it all together. This is beautiful stuff, but it's, oh, it's hard to work with sometimes. Almost wondering if it's worth um, dipping it into the stuff that's falling off, but then you're probably going to get stuff you don't want on it. There we go. I'm just going to do a tiny bit of edging, and then I'll come up and do the top. Cherry. There's little pieces. This is cool. get it where I had all that. Oops, I'm just going to pick up a couple little spots here where the blue is showing through. But you know what? That is fine. All right, let's get this. brush it in so it's, it shakes off all of the loose stuff. One side completely done. Look at that, guys. Isn't that pretty? All right. I'm just going to Oh my goodness, my hand is sticking to me. <gasps> All right, let's do this. It's not taking as much as I thought it would. There we go. Oops. Oh, you are in there. Good. Sorry. I moved the canvas. Want to make sure you're there. And you know what? If some of it isn't sticking to the side, it's the part of it, right? You want some of it where it's not showing. It's kind of like a rustic-y. This to be right in the corner. There we go. Awesome. 
awesome. And I'm going to brush whoops, this off. side. I'm, like I said, I'm wondering if it's worth trying to just pick up what's down there. But And actually, there's not much down there. I'm impressed. I was thinking that I'd have a lot more wastage. Okay. There we go. Let's see if I can do it the way I was trying to do it. Wow, oh, I'm impressed. I actually did that whole corner with one sheet. piece here and try to cover up. Awesome. that have fallen. Just put a light brush down. I just want to make sure it's all hit. There we go. I'm just going to try and gently brush it all up here. Get it in a pile. Wow. And then, whoops, it is your, oh, that was just about a water. Take. to get it on the top over here. And on the edges where I've missed there. I am impressed. There's not much wastage, guys. All right, last sheet. Sorry, Bob. I knocked poor Bob over. He's learning how to gold leaf today. All right. Oh, why is it sticking to the one little piece? All right. Again, let's try and do, <gasps> no, I want to get it so that it's not hanging off the edge. Awesome. No, it wrinkled. It's not what I wanted to do. Over. 
I'm going to use a second lap. One more piece, I think, to finish the edge. Alrighty, guys. I'm liking this already. Whoever gets this painting has one of my hairs. It's stuck into the adhesive. All right, let's get this guy down here. Just trying to brush. I think that's it, my friends. Woohoo! All right. Let's try and get this. I can brush it easier with my hand. Now, when I work on the front, it's going to be easier. I'm just going to brush this all in. Maybe I'll just use my finger first. I want to get all the loose stuff off. That does look pretty, look at that. All right, I'm gonna get all the loose edging off. It's just hanging over the edge onto the tape. And I just want to get that off with my hand. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Like it's hanging off like here. Oh my goodness. Here, I'm just scraping what I can so that if I do pull the tape off, when I pull the tape off, not if, it's not going to be taking off any of that stuff. So I'm just trying to. And there's spots where you can see the blue, which I think is pretty cool. I'm just trying to scrape off that. There we go is done even though that's the edges now I'm just gonna give the front the same idea get all the loose stuff off and then we're gonna come in and just gonna, actually I'll show you what I'm doing we're just gonna come in and shake all the loose stuff off And I'm not going hard with the brush. I'm just kind of lightly getting rid of all of the, the little loose stuff. All right. Now, oh, what do I do with this? I'm gonna just, bear with me guys. I'm just gonna take my big brush and just try and push all of this over to one spot. I'm 
Bob's getting a brush. I have Bob Ross here. He's learning how to paint today. He's, uh, he's had a couple classes on how to do a bling bling, so. This is probably not in my best. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna move this to here for a moment. And then we're going to figure out how to do the rest. Like I said, I'm going with the flow. I'm doing it as I'm uh, figuring it out as I'm going. So you're getting it all guys. What I might do is, I don't know if this will work. I'm going to try and put it all on the piece of paper. even attempt to just cover it up for the moment. Look at that. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna put this on top of that, on top of that, <laughs> like this, just so I don't have it flying around on me. All right. <sighs> now back to the task at hand. That is beautiful. I am so impressed. Woo we may even put a little bit of glitter on there. We'll see where we go. All right, now, it's got a lot of jigged jagged. I'm gonna come across the center using my same brush. I rinsed it out with water using the same sizing. I'm gonna come across and do something substantial here. You can see I'm just going to do jagged lines. Right across this line that I've done. And I'm going to come around this blue things that I've painted. Minus the hairs. And even my hair, where is that coming from? When you're doing this, I want to make sure that I'm covering. It's kind of hard to see on the white where I've done it. I'm covering all of the area where it's not completely painted. This is just a starting point. Like I'm gonna do other, other stuff to it. But I thought, I'm gonna start somewhere. Might as well be with the gold leaf. And then what we don't see, we can hard to see what I'm 
the vision, not the vision, but it's hard to see. I want to make sure that that blue is left open. open. All right. I don't want a straight line. And I don't know if you can see. Kind of where I'm going with this. Just because. I want it to be a solid. All covered. Awesome. Whoop! Gee, purrs. Dropped my whole brush right in the in the sizing. Okay, so we're gonna go with that at the moment, and we're gonna see where it goes from there. I'll put just a little in the center of these ones. Okay, I'm going to rinse out that really quick. Wipe it off because I don't want to ruin it because I want to keep using it. Like I said, if I ruin it, that's fine, but I want to make sure I have enough to... I don't want to use two brushes during this procedure. All right. Oh, actually, I'm going to leave that there. I'm going to give this a quick little blow dry to help it dry so it's tacky. stuff I hid all over. Now, I'm not sure if it's coming up on the camera. Can you see where I put the adhesive? I don't know if you can even see it on the white, where it's shiny, like I did it all around. And it's good, so we are proceeding. Oh, I'm excited. All right, and I'm not a gold girl, so here we go. I'm going to start with the, oh my goodness, see it keeps sticking to the one edge of the papers. All right, I'm going to do this. And just put it where I see all of that um, adhesive. Here. There. 
anywhere it didn't take. That's where we're going to add our, our gold glitter and our broken glass. You don't want to rub it too, too much, I don't think. I don't know. It's hard to see. Oh, I got adhesive down here as well. Hell, I'm concentrating because I'm not talking. <laughs> oh, guys. Just trying to see if I've missed any. Oh, there's some down here. It's hard to see it on the white. Stepping back and seeing where it's shiny, where I've missed. Okay. Another, another sheet. Oh. Here we go. Ah, it keeps sticking. See, I don't know what. Where is that? It's weird that it keeps lifting up off it. You have to... So I'm going to make 
make sure that it's going to cover where that blue all the way down here. With it working on the top, you can actually brush all these loose ones over. Oh, this is turning out so pretty. And I think we have one more to do, and that's it for that. I might come and do a bit of jig jagged. it where I had all the adhesive. more little piece and I think we are done with this aspect of it and I'm going to come back I'm going to take that brush again. And try to just softly make sure it's on there. And get rid of all the Lucy. not going to get rid of it on the top because what I'm going to try to come back and do 
is jagged the ends down. Now I'm going to take the adhesive and try to bring this up a bit more on the top and the bottom. And I'm going to mirror some of this aspect up on the top. Okay, so I got my adhesive, which I just knocked over. I'll use what I spilt first. I want a little bit more here. And we're gonna go maybe on the blue side. Oh no, I don't know what to do. We're gonna bring it in a little more in certain spots. I'm just gonna do the corners a little bit heavier. And I'm leaving like a spot. And then a couple spots that here that I really wanted it to stick. Didn't stick. We'll bring just some lines up here. It's so hard to tell with this white. And I know you guys are going, oh my gosh, you should be cleaning it all off. And look at, ah, oh, probably don't need to do all of this. So I'm going to put other stuff. Um, I want to do another one. Ah, my fingers are stuck. Ah, some similar to this, but up here. So I'm thinking. Um... We'll do one here. if you can see that and then another one here just so it's kind of cohesive I guess would be the word Hmm. 
we go. And then I'm going to come back and I think I put more here. I'm just going to try and put a little more on the edging. More here. I know I probably did it there. And then maybe bring it just Maybe a little here. Bring it from here, maybe. There. All right. I'm going to stop. Uh, maybe, oh, oh, I did. Okay, I'll stop. I'm going to rinse out that brush really quick. I'm going to put you on pause, let this get tacky, because I need to change my battery. I'll be right back, guys. Okay, we are back. This is more or less tacky, and we're just going to get into it. I'm going to start down here on the white, and we are just adding wherever I put it. It's hard to see it on the white. I've probably said that 600 times. All right. Woo! That one's done. That one's done. Trying to figure out how I put a little bit more here. I want to get a nice big. Bigger piece so I can. Okay. See where else? Oh, one here. And another sheet. Another one bites the dust. Alright. Let's go. I'll get off of my finger. Oh, come on. For the white and let's go to the blue right down there there we go
you gold leafers out there are probably just cringing at what I'm doing. Okay. More sheets. Alright, let's do this. Let's get... And again, I could keep saying, I'm not overly worried if there's bits and pieces that don't quite look right because we're covering it, some of it with some glass and some glitter. center piece out. That's hilarious. A piece of <laughs> paint booger from the lid <laughs> of my paintbrush. My paint. And then we're done with the gold leaf. Oh my goodness, my coffee is going to be tasty and expensive. I just dropped a little bit of gold leaf in my coffee. All right. There we go. Just get this piece that's in the corner. Ah, get off here. Get back here. Got this here. There. Done. I don't know. Do I need? I don't know. I'm tempted to put more here. We're going to brush it all off and see what it looks like. And we're going to get my brush again and we're going to lightly get all the loose bits
All right, I'm gonna shake it off this way. Oh. I'm gonna use this bigger brush just to It's still soft, but it's not as so soft as the other one. Just get my quickly get this and then I will show you without all of this being in the way and going back on the canvas because I don't want that to happen and again there's a fast forward button it up there wait it guys I think it looks gorgeous it is a good base I'm excited all right now the fun part comes we're gonna put some broken glass some glitter and you know what I might I've got that adhesive out, so I might use the adhesive and go around here and we can do the glitter and then come in with the, some of the broken glass and it's so big, the glass, so I don't know, we're going to see. See, I think these would be so pretty in here. These, they're like uh I may put a few in here. Laura sent them to me to try and I was never, didn't know what to do with them, but it'll go nice in this one. Okay, I'm gonna put my brain to work. I'm gonna put you on pause. I'm gonna get all my stuff together and we're gonna get into um, putting the bling on this. I'll be back in a second, guys. All right, guys, I'm excited I'm back. I had some breakfast. I made another humongous coffee and we're are gonna get into this. I am excited because this looks, actually this kind of looks horrible right now, but my thoughts are I'm gonna carry on and come deep, carry on and come deep and we're gonna carry out all around all of this gold leaf with glitter. Now, I was gonna use my leafing material, my leafing material, oh my goodness, the sizing. I was gonna thought, I thought I might try that with the glitter, but I thought, no, you know what? I'm gonna use what I know. This is Triart liquid glass, and I'm gonna put it in a brand new squeeze bottle. So there's no glitter. This one, the other one I had, had some silver glitter in it. So every once in a while you'd get to the bottom and there'd be some silver. So I'm gonna come around, outline all of this gold, and then I'm gonna possibly come back with one of my little tools here and jagged it out. And yeah, I'm gonna show you what I did though. 
Michaels sells these containers. They're the ones that you can buy the glitter in. Like I've bought this black glitter and it's the same containers from Recollections. They sell them in a six pack. I think these come in a six and these come in an eight. I could be totally wrong, but I just put the bag that I had from Laura, the baggie of that nice gold. It is called Sunny Gold Holographic. I just put that in this container because I'm thinking this is what I'm going to put on all of the outer edge. And then I might come back in with some of the other woo, glitters. Look at that. The other glitters that I have here. And then there's always, and then I'm going to come back in once I'm going to let all that dry, shake off that. And then I'm going to come in and do within the gold, we're going to put some of the glass and possibly some of these beautiful um, beads. So oh, I just wanted to show you. I gathered up all of the loose stuff that I had piled underneath. I brushed it in to one of these containers. Dollar store, most amazing. I used to use these. I've got like hundreds of these for beads when I was doing my jewelry. So I just wanted to show you that. And they come in a three pack and these are $2.50. And it doesn't matter, like it's worth your money to buy the bigger ones because they're $3. They come in three sizes and they're all 250. Doesn't matter what size. So anyways, back to the project at hand. I am going to get into this. I'm excited. I'm excited. Can you tell I'm excited? All right, let's get some of this Triart liquid glass. And I like these bottles because the lid actually comes off and you put it on. I'm going to brush. Now, it might not happen in today's video because today's video is Sunday and it is Sunday now. So I'm going to get this done. And there might be a coat of resin on top of it. And if I do do that, I will make a video and it'll be a part two. OK, let's get this in. We're going to put. Actually, I'm going to leave, leave that one there. We're going to start and just put a line of this kind of all around in where it's jaggedy and I'm going to try and I don't want it to be three dimensional because I want it to be, well, I suppose, cause I'm going to put the glass in the middle too, but in that other picture that he had showed me, there is like a way amount of glitter. Oh my goodness, I have four batteries and this is the last one that has got charge. So I need to move my butt. I'm just going to quickly do some jaggedness in here. And I'm kind of going into the gold leafing. Like I don't want to leave a gap. I'm 
we're going to attach those two. Oh, I'm excited. Uh, all right, let's get this process going. And I love these multi-steps. What? I'm not a wham-bam, thank you, ma'am. I like to do something a little different. why I like these squeeze bottles because you can go as fast as you want, squeeze a little harder, bring out more. If you can see can you kind of see how I'm doing it I'm hoping Ooh, it's hurting my fingers oh my other hand is now sore. I don't know if you guys have been with me. I had surgery on my right hand. I had what they call a trigger finger. I had two fixed. I had carpal tunnel on this hand fixed. And now this middle finger is doing the trigger again. And oh, it hurts in the morning. Oh my goodness, guys. widening widening it out there and I'm gonna flip it and do the top I don't know can you I'm gonna try and see it if you can see how I'm doing it all around the edging and I'm gonna do the same here I don't know I might do I do a thin layer on the inner side let's we'll carry on here with the blue Sorry, my, I have to give my wrist a second from all the squeezing. All right, here we go. We're gonna connect this one here. And we're gonna put some on the outside. 
maybe connect it this way. Bring it oh, a little bit this way. We're going to attach this one here with the glitter. And oh, sorry. I'm going to attempt to make it, it looks crooked to me. There we go. I'm going to attach this one too. You're getting your glitter on today, my friends. And again, um, you can use Mod Podge. You can use whatever you know. I just know this works for me. And I, I'm very lucky I have access to it. So in my um, description box, there is links. It's basically where you can purchase it in Almost done. Let's get down here and get this part. Why do we get something in there? All right. Oh my goodness, guys. Let me just see. Is there something in here? It is not coming out. I was trying to use the leftover stuff I have. I'm just gonna. Oh, yes, there was. All right, here we go. We'll try this again. There we go. I don't know why it doesn't want to come out. Really? As I get to the end, let me grab a different tip. See, the story of my channel, every time something doesn't go right, I just took another tip off of a different bottle. It'll rectify the problem at the moment. There we go. That works better. No wonder I was having issues. There we go. Now, 
I'm going to leave it. We'll put the chunky glass on the inner edging. All right. So with that, I think it actually spread out kind of where I want it. So I don't even know. Can you see it on there? I'm hoping you can see it. I don't want to tip it up too much because some of it's quite thick. All right, we're just going to get into it. I'm going to use this one is the um, Sunny Gold from Laura's Art Corner. And we're just going to get our glitter on, guys. Here we go. Wish me luck. Oh. <clears throat> I want to make sure I have enough to go around, so I'm going to go lightly around the edging. So it's evenly dispersed. And then we can come back in with some of the other ones. High and sprinkle. All right. Just a little bit there, a little bit there. Okay, now we're onto the blue part. going to quickly come down just to make sure I have enough. Now I'm going to come back and a little heavier on the edging and a little heavier down here. And it's done. I kind of knew I would empty it. All right. So that one is done. Let's see. You know what, Laura, I'm just going to use this Hemingway and do the rest, give it a good coat because what you see there, you want it to be covered because it is going to show through and shiny. So I'm going to completely cover everything else with this and I'm going crazy heavy. And if you've seen me before, you know I do not waste any of this glass and glitter. But I want to make sure this is covered. I want no spots where I see the blue.
Okay, I'm going to flip it around. Oh, be gosh, be darn. Okay. Oh, let me, I missed, I just want to make sure here. Because I can kind of see blue and I want to make sure that it's covered. All right, here we go. Actually, that's how I met Laura. I was complaining I couldn't find a holographic gold. And this amazing subscriber sent me this package of Hemingway. And Laura approached me. And that's how I met Laura. And that's been over a year now. Crazy. All right. Again, I know this is a lot. But it is gold, and it's two different glitters, but you know what? It'll go back into a container. And I'm the big advocate of doing it once, not twice. I've always been that way. Taught my kids do a good job the first time, and you're not going to keep doing it over and over. So what is that? It's like a bubble. And that's the nice thing about this liquid glass. It, oh, it doesn't take much. Half an hour, well, I'm gonna say a couple hours. And you'll have stuff that's good to, to go. All right, my friends, I'm gonna let this dry. And hopefully it'll be nice when we're done. I'll see you guys in a little bit. We are back, it is dry. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. So I have a puppy pad upside down this side is so smooth you can get everything off of it so that's why i flip it upside down i am just gonna go like this and go oh my goodness we're just gonna get all of it in here Like, look at all that. That is gonna not be wasted, guys. Oh my goodness, guys, I am, <laughs> that's a lot. <laughs> that is a lot. I'm probably just gonna put it all back in this Hemingway container because it was more or less all of the Hemingway. Guys, look at that. Oh. Now, there are spots where I'm gonna come back and do a little bit more, because I don't like the idea here. There's a few spots where you can see the blues in here, here, like here. So I'm gonna come back in. We're gonna put some more of the Triart liquid glass. And then I'm gonna add some of the glass. So I'm gonna first try and spread out some where, where I see that it's missed. Maybe a little here. A little bit here. And all along the edge in here, there's a few spots where I would prefer to have 
a little more coverage. And here, like right here, like I don't want the blue to show through. Especially on the edging. Oh, that one's fine. Here. 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 And the white isn't as bad because it's not as noticeable, but there's a couple spots here. And on the edge in here, a couple here, a little here. Okay, so actually let me, I'm going to take what I have from under here. <laughs> and just kind of put where I just put it here here and I'm going to get my spoon and just do it just spooning it out and go right along where I put all that Here. I don't know if I put any there or not, but we're going here. Just covering it all. <laughs> it's all coming off anyway. Oh my goodness, Sherry. That is about it. Now let me just flip it and see if it'll be fine because it's there. Okay. Now I'm going to come back in and I'm going to put some broken glass in here. So we're going to go all around the, this here area. We'll put some here. So we'll do this part first and see where that takes us. 
So I'm just opening up my Triart, Triart liquid gloss, oh my goodness. I am just opening up my Ashland decorative filler. Now these bags are bought in the seasonal section as where some of the other ones in the jars are in where the floral are. All right. take out these bigger ones and we'll place those strategically somewhere else and then we're going to put glitter again goodness oh my goodness battery number uh, however many all right so I started putting a couple of the glass here And then I'm going to come back and sprinkle some different glitter. This glass might be too chunky. I don't know. Woo! So I'm going to do this half and then I'm going to proceed up and we'll do the other half. Okay, so that's that half. I'm gonna come back in with um I thought I had another one. I guess oh here it is, yes, I knew I had another one. This one is the gold dust fine glitter from Laura's art corner. And we're gonna do that around where I'm putting all of the the glass so that you don't see. The, um, I don't know, I hope there's enough of this. So you don't see the broken glass, the, uh, gl the liquid glass. Oh my god, I have to turn my heater off. It's blowing it. All right, so that's those three. I'm going to remove these because I know they're not in there. And this one and this one. And we're gonna flip this around. And we're gonna put some in here. So I'm just gonna do a little on the outside. This one. And maybe over here in this spot there. And then we're going to come down the center. And I'm just jig jagging it.
Perfect. So we're going to put glass on all of that. I'm going to do this glitter on those three. <gasps> Shoot, because I know there's not enough to go on what I did here. So let's get some glass here. down the center. Make sure there's a nice layer in there. Okay, so now I'm going to come back in this one, this one, and this one. I'm going to use the Olympic Gold from Laura Zarkoner, which is like I did on the other ones on the just to cover up that liquid glass. And I know, guys, I do repeat myself, but I just want to make sure that you know what I'm doing. Now I'm going to come back from underneath and start scooping. Here, let me let me get rid of those. Let's get this all back up here again. Move that. I'm just going to get my glass that's here out of the way. to the edge so I can actually you know what I'm just going to put more on it and I'll just put all that back into the container this is easier for me big heavy coat down the center to cover all of that Just make sure that it's all covered. Perfect. 
Alrighty. We're going to let that dry and I will see you guys in a little bit. We're getting close. Hello, I'm back. I have scraped all of that glitter back into this container. So we are good. Now I am going to shake off this glass and hopefully it is good. Now this is going to get put into, actually, I can probably put it all right back. I'm just lightly giving this a brush. get this stuff all in the middle and I could probably put it through a sifter and get rid of the glass and I don't know guys it's not so bad again I think I'm gonna come in and possibly do a coat of resin now I might pop a little more glass here. I might put a few of these nice big chunky ones that I have, like a nice piece there would be good. So I'm just going to put a little bit on my, I didn't put my lid on. So I'm just going to put a little bit here. Put that there and then maybe another piece here, there. I think that's good. Um, I have this other one, maybe I'll put Just thinking of somewhere else to put this other big one. Maybe like here. Down to go down that way. So we'll put a little bit of this here. And place that one in there. And I think I'm done. I'm going to let it dry overnight. And I'm going to give it a good shake, make sure there's no loose glitters, all that fun stuff. And then I'm, I will put a coat of resin on it because I think it needs something. And I think that'll, because there's these definite lines here, and I think that will make it all go cohesive and then... There will be the glass, well, some of the glass will still be sticking up. So I think that's cool. Well, my friends, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I think it turned out pretty cool for my first attempt. So, yeah, if you have not yet subscribed, please think about subscribing. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and hit that bell up there for notifications so when I put up my next video you will be notified and in my description box I have the links to I have the description box sorry I have everything that I've used I will put that in my description box also I have the links to my um, Amazon shops which I'm an affiliate with I have the links to my Facebook page I have the links to where to purchase the TriArt liquid glass, which we've used today. I have the link to where to purchase crystal resin. I have the links to Fundy Molds with a discount code. I also have a link for a Let's Resin with a discount code. Um, it is Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. I also have the links to my two amazing Lorez distributors. Um, Michelle, my Canadian 
Lorenz Distributor, um, sorry, my discount code for Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada is Sherry Moulton 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my American Lorenz Distributor, and my glitter guru, and where I've got most of these glitters from today. My discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Moulton 10. And with that, my link to my PayPal is in there if you choose to donate and help support my channel. And with that, I will see you guys in the next one. And there definitely will be a part two. I'll be putting resin on this. So I'll see you guys later. Love you guys. Bye.